esteemed guests and colleagues, I would like to introduce the Dr. William M. Shaw College of Podiatric Medicine Class of 2025. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Stephanie Wu, and I am privileged to serve as Dean of the Dr. William M. Show College of Podiatric Medicine. On behalf of Ross and Franklin President and CEO, Dr. Wendy Rowe, and Provost, Dr. Nancy Parsley, and on behalf of our university community, welcome to the Class of 2025 Rite of Passage Ceremony. Today is a milestone moment for our students and their families and loved ones and friends who have provided support along the way. The class of 2025, you are here because of your DNA, which fuels your passion, compassion, and utmost dedication to becoming the best podiatric physician you can be to heal your patients. Since our founding in 1912, both men and women have studied under distinguished clinicians and scientists in the field and have gone on to make an impact in the lives of their patients and on a profession. We are thrilled that you will be joining more than 6,000 alumni and continuing this legacy of collaboration, innovation, and service that characterizes the enduring power of a show college education. This afternoon, I am privileged to introduce alumnus and keynote speaker, Dr. Noman A. Siddiqui, one of more than 6,000 alumni making a difference in the profession. Dr. Siddiqui is a 2008 graduate of the college and currently serves as the Director of Podiatric Surgery at the International Center for Lymph Lengthening in Baltimore, Maryland. Dr. Siddiqui also serves as Chief of Podiatry at Sinai and Northwest Hospitals in the Baltimore area. Dr. Siddiqui completed his surgical residency training at Guy Singer Community Medical Center in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and completed a fellowship in foot and ankle deformity correction at the International Center for Limb Lengthening at the Rubin Institute of Advanced Orthopedics. Dr. Siddiqui is an author, educator, researcher, and pioneer in the field of foot and ankle surgery. Baltimore Magazine has named him top doctor for the past six years. Help me in welcoming Dr. Noman Siddiqui. You know, Dr. Wu, that's a very kind introduction, but they spelled my name Norman Siddiqui out front, so I, I don't know if I should be honored. But no, I, I, all joking aside, it is a, a true honor to be in front of everyone here. Um, and it's, I, I mean, this moment is interesting because I'm 
I've been right where you guys are. You know, 2008 is when I graduated. 2004 was when I started school. So I think I sat right about there. Right where. So I, you'll remember a lot of these moments. So with, with that being said, I just want to you know say thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Dr. Wu, for inviting me, and uh, and Dr. Jaffe back there. He and I were classmates, so it's a lot of fun. So thank you very much. I just want to take a second and say I'm honored to be a part of this. Um, moment. I'm, I just want to say that you guys are my future colleagues. So it's really special to be able to talk to someone that I see in the future. And I'm honored to be a part of this momentous occasion as we gather here to celebrate a rite of passage that marks a significant milestone in your journey towards becoming healthcare professionals. As you stand here donning these white coats, you symbolically embrace a commitment to a noble calling, a lifelong pursuit of healing, empathy and service. This ceremony is not just a celebration of your individual achievements, it is also an acknowledgement of the support and sacrifice of those who have stood beside you on this arduous journey. To your families and friends, mentors and teachers, you owe a debt of gratitude. Without their unwavering support, guidance and encouragement, many of you would not have reached this significant milestone. Please take a moment, stand, face your family, and join me in giving them a round of applause. Now, I would like to be one of the first ones to offer my heartfelt congratulations to you. You have come a long way since you first set foot in this institution, fueled by dreams of making a, a difference, and now it will start to feel real. I remember being in your shoes, and like me and my classmates did way back then, today you're going to take a giant leap forward in your mission, as your white coat that you wear signifies your entry into the sacred realm of medicine and surgery. As you step into this new phase, you will learn this transition carries with it the expectations of countless patients who will entrust their lives to your care. It serves as a symbol of trust, professionalism, and integrity. And you treat each patient with dignity and compassion and commit yourselves to lifelong learning. It is a privilege, one that you must never take for granted. So today you take a pledge to always treat your patients with dignity and respect and compassion. To listen to their stories, sometimes they're very long, Understand their fears, which are many, and advocate for their well-being, because sometimes they don't have a family to advocate for them. And for these reasons, if you were to walk into my clinic tomorrow, and this is very interesting because most of you guys have really tight joggers on in your scrubs. You guys want to wear your, your Jordans or whatever you want to wear. I mean, back then we weren't allowed to do that, but I get it. you got to be you. you got to wear the white coat because no matter what, you have to wear the white coat. It means a lot to me, and it's something that I always wear in my office. I think it stands for something, and I don't try to diminish its value. So, you know, for those reasons, the white coat will never be negotiable, and I hope you see it that way. Now, I also want to talk to you about something else that no one tells you about. And I think I'm, I mean, I'm much older than you guys, but I think I'm still somewhat close to you guys. Uh, I guess I'm an older millennial. So I'm kind of connected. So this passage is very difficult and confusing at times. This rite of passage would also mean different things to you based on your experiences that have brought you to this point. There is some excitement and uncertainty that comes from these moments. Some of you are here because you have no choice, especially if you're South Asian. You have no choice. <laughs> you have to be here. You might be Asian. You might be also forced to be here. But some of you are here because you're still trying to figure it out, what it means to wear this white coat to go along this journey. And some of you have that laser focus. You know what you're going to be, how you're going to do it, when you're going to do it. I've been fortunate to be around some of those people. Dr. Jaffe was one of those folks. I mean, you just knew that he was going to be great. And some of you have pedigree because you're following in someone's footsteps. But you're going to make this path your own. But I want to speak to you about the uh, experience that, like I said, there are ups and downs. You never get told how it's going to be. So I hope this kind of tells you what's going to happen. I had no initial interest in doing any of this. I did not. I was interested in other things, like innovating. I mean, I thought I was going to be developing commercial medical parks. So like, you know, before hospitals started buying up medical things, that's what I was into. I was going to do that. But, you know, I thought about even leaving at one point. But at that time, I had met Dr. Wu. She was a, just a recent practitioner, and, and her mentor, 
uh, and it's fair to say Dr. David Armstrong, I had a talk with him and he told me to stay. He told me that, hey, I think you're good for the profession, just hang in there, you know, and this is, you're 23, 24 years old, you're like, this gentleman is so accomplished and so experienced, you listen to them. So I, I listened and here I am. But at that point I didn't realize that what was gonna happen. By staying I realized I'm actually good at this. I really enjoy doing this stuff. So at times when you're wearing your coat and you're going through clinic, you're gonna feel like, man, am I gonna learn this? You will. Is it gonna get easier? It will. So like you, I didn't realize the significance of that moment, like this one we're in front of, because you don't know what to expect. But that moment went beyond this hour and today. Once you wear this white coat, you'll be given opportunities to add knowledge beyond the classroom in a clinical setting. You'll be exposed and interact with leaders in the profession. That will inspire you to be the next innovator, the next educator, the next leader that we need to guide the next group of students that are gonna join this crew. I have been fortunate enough to learn from and now teach some of the brightest minds in foot and ankle surgery. I didn't realize this in 2005, but this moment gave me the path to innovate and now I'm des designing orthopedic implants that didn't exist when I was a student. This rite of passage gave me the confidence to question procedures that have been around for a hundred of years that you guys have been reading, and I don't do them. I do it completely different because I, it gave me the way to think. It gave me an opportunity to change things, and I think now some of those procedures are becoming even obsolete. You will learn. So as we stand here today, let us embrace this passage as a symbol of our commitment, a representation of the trust that is bestowed upon us, and a reminder of the immense privilege and responsibility we carry. Let it serve as a constant reminder that our purpose extends beyond personal success and achievements. It is about lives that you will touch, the minds you will shape, and the world you will help heal. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Siddiqui, for such inspiring words for our class of 2025. It honors Show College and Rosalind Franklin University to acknowledge your tremendous contributions to our profession. Good afternoon, my name is Keena Woodard, and I serve as the Associate Dean of Clinical Experiences and Associate Professor in the Department of Podiatric Medicine and Surgery. I am also a very proud alumnus of Show College. I would like to share with you the laying of the hands and ask that you, the class of 2025, reflect upon its reading. Speaking stoically, laying of the hands is an expression used when a doctor applies their hands to a patient for the purpose of examination and treatment. Poetically speaking, laying of the hands is an expression that depicts and defines qualities of giftedness attributed to hands that allay pain and suffering. Today, the full meaning of laying of hands should start to cause a change in your person, your conduct, your attitude, your compassion, and your caring. Remember, you are granted the privilege of putting your hands on another human being for the purpose of providing health care. We believe it's safe to say at first, you are timid in approach, unskilled in application, and short on compassion. However, in time with practice and unrelenting commitment, you, the budding student doctor, will continue to blossom into a qualified, caring, and compassionate doctor. But let there not be any illusions, delusion, I'm sorry, in order for you, the student doctor, to be transformed into the kind of doctor who is truly worthy of the expression, laying of the hands, there must be a nurturing and an instilling of passion for caring. Caring enough to be concerned. Caring enough to be kind. Caring enough to do no harm. Caring enough to be qualified. Caring enough to be honest and caring enough to be helpful, caring enough for you to be able to care for someone else. How do we measure caring? How do we recognize it? How do we show caring? 
The answers are elusive, especially in lip service that distorts and deceives. But let there be no doubt that it is primarily by your hands that you will be known, judged, and held accountable. Therefore, this ceremony realistically and symbolically highlights an astounding event in your passage to becoming a doctor of podiatric medicine. Because as long as you lay hands on a patient, you will have to have a sensitivity, a level of consciousness that assures that your hands will never violate, will never exhibit disdain, and will never be spurious in the performance of the almost ritualistic mythologies and skills used for examination and treatment. Having such awareness, your hands will never betray the trust and respect that has been bestowed upon you. This is not easily accomplished. However, it can be derived from discipline, commitment to quality care, and compassion towards your patients. So, future doctors, keep your hands for helping and caring. This rite of passage ceremony symbolizes your transition to the third year and marks a momentous occasion. We hope you continue to reflect upon it um, and what it means to be a caring and compassionate student of podiatric medicine and the responsibility you have to patients, your colleagues, and your profession. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Leland Jaffe and Ms. Jennifer Smith, Director of Student Affairs, to the stage to distribute the white coat pens. All right, such a special event. I, I'm really uh, appreciative to be part of this ceremony, so thank you. Um, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Leland Jaffe, and I serve as an associate professor in the Podiatric Medicine and Surgery Department and as the Associate Dean of Clerkship and Residency Placement. And like Dr. Woodard, I too am a proud Shoal College alumnus. The white coat you have worn over the past two years should reflect your commitment to humanism, that is, your compassion, ethics, collaborative spirit, knowledge, and dedication to care. The pins you will receive were graciously donated by the Arnold P. Gold Foundation, which established the White Coat Ceremony for Healthcare Students in 1993. The pins contain the gold Mobius loop, symbolizing the continuous bond of trust, respect, and communication. Those tenants connect you to your patient. We, the faculty, staff, and administration of Shoal College hope you will never forget your tremendous responsibility as budding student doctors. Remember the sacred connection between clinician and patient as you continue to wear your white coat and carry humanism into your training. We will now welcome the class of 2025 to the stage to receive their pins. Huria Abbasi. Bilal Abuzir. Lakman Ahmed. Saria Ahmed. Ahmad Al Farouk. Jinho An. Filza Arshad. Sara Ashar.
Caroline Ayala. Rambod Aznavala. Aznavala. Cynthia Bati. Alexa Bolden. Katrina Bastanchi. Brayden Brundage. Mitz Kalyumpeng. Emily Sao. Roxana Kochu. Elizabeth Cook. Andrew Costa. Gregory Dirk. Jacob Diaz. Austin Ellis. Farah Faruqi. Courtney Gaines. Hussein Githam. Grant Grotlishen. Justine Hansen. Drianna Heidenreich. Stephanie Wynn. Hasnain Heider. Aya Ibrahim. Brandon Itatani. Mahin Jabin. Matthew Javier. Yeah! <laughs> Justin Kopek. Yeah. <laughs> Bavya Lankipali. <laughs> Kathleen Linda Muth. <laughs> Skyla Lozano. <laughs> Thaha Mahmood. <laughs> Imani Matthews. Yannick Momo Tufo. Fariha Nazneen. Han Nguyen. Bailey Paluzzi. Yash Punshal. Sydney Parti. Kishan Patel. Michael Racines. <laughs> Maz Rahim. Syed Rahman. Amanda Roberts. <laughs> Elena Romand. Oh 
Elizabeth Rudder. Luke Schmidt. Kimmy Shaw. Joseph Swenda. Samantha Wilgus. Lloyd Young. Yunsu Yu. Victoria Zanoni. Congratulations, class of 2025. Welcome. My name is Dr. Karana Mason, and I serve as the Vice Dean of the Dr. William M. Scholl College of Podiatric Medicine. During the Scholl College transition ceremony, we reflect on what sharing the light of knowledge means, and we would like to share this with you, the future podiatric medical physician. Sharing the light of knowledge, compassion, ethics, and knowledge the three essential elements for your passage from student to podiatric physician. These es essentials are symbolized in this rite of passage ceremony by the white rose, the oath of Geneva, and the flame. The white rose symbolizes compassion. Like the rose, compassion is both beautiful and fragile. It must be nurtured, and if it is not, it dies and cannot be replaced. The oath of Geneva represents ethics. This is the same oath you would take at graduation when you have earned the right to enter the profession. The adherence to a code of ethics represents your personal and professional integrity, knowing the difference between right and wrong and choosing the right path, no matter how difficult. Ethics, like compassion, is also fragile. It will be tested time and time again. If you fail this test, you will never successfully complete the journey. And lastly, the flame represents the light of knowledge as represented by faculty, staff, and administration. At this time, I would like to ask the stage party to join me in sharing their light of knowledge. Please make your way to the front of the stage to light a candle. If there are any Shoal College faculty, staff, or administration seated in the audience, please join me in sharing the light of knowledge. 
Please make your way to the front of the stage and light a candle. Finally, if there are any members of the university administration, faculty or staff here with us today, I would like you to join us by sharing your light of knowledge. Please make your way to the front of the stage to light a candle. These candles represent our collective knowledge, knowledge gained through the study of those who have taken this journey before you and the efforts of all who make this journey possible. It is their persistence, their pride, and their professionalism that makes today possible for you. We offer you the light of our collective knowledge and ask that you continue the tradition by seeking wisdom, enlightenment, and understanding. You are on the road to becoming a podiatric physician. This road requires ever increasing amounts of responsibility. If you add compassion, ethics, and knowledge, your future would be as bright as the light of the candles you see before you. We remind you that your journey continues. Those of us gathered here today bear witness to the Dr. William M. Scholl College of Class of 2025, symbolically continuing this noble profession of podiatric medicine by participating in this rite of passage ceremony. You continue to be a part of a tradition that goes back over 2,500 years. The physician as a servant of the sick, congratulations. Now I am proud to introduce our student speaker this afternoon, Rambo Asnavala, president of the Shoal class of 2025. Rambo. Thank you, Dr. Mason. The more things change, the more they stay the same. The last time I had to give a speech like this, I was in the fifth grade, could barely see over the podium, and murmured my way through the entire thing. Turns out I haven't grown much since then, since I have still trouble seeing all of you, but let's see how I do this time. Now, when Ms. Smith asked me if I could speak for a few minutes, I pondered what words I have to offer my accomplished peers and their families. First, I want to acknowledge everyone who is here to celebrate this important step in our professional journey. On behalf of our class, I would like to thank our parents, grandparents, spouses, other family members, and friends who have continuously supported us to achieve the honor of wearing the white coat and calling ourselves a student of podiatric medicine. Today is a milestone. Wearing our white coats remains a privilege. We have worked extremely hard to be halfway through podiatric medical school. We are going into a highly specialized field of study that many aspire to reach. 
I want us to remember this and encourage us to be grateful. We must remain, we must remain humble because while we are done with didactics, we are by no means experts. We are a unique class full of students from diverse ethnic groups, cultural differences, first generation students, or some combination thereof. We will potentially be the first in our families to get a degree seeking job or even pursue further specialized training. We have committed our lives to something so special and so selfless. We get to improve and better the lives of others on a daily basis. There really aren't many professions that give you that opportunity. From here forward, I encourage us to treat every experience as a learning opportunity, embrace the challenge, and remember that we can positively impact every patient that we encounter. We all know the difficult path we took to get this far, and we've been told to anticipate the great responsibility that it is to follow. We must be hum humble yet confident. We need to be relentless in the pursuit of excellence. While we understand there is a long path ahead, we should not lose sight of our goals and continue to rely on our support systems. Finally, I want to encourage us all to enjoy this weekend, spend time with family and friends, celebrate, and take pride in our accomplishments, and get ready to face the rest of this journey with great ambition and poise. We all have people who were there for us through this journey in the brightest and darkest moments. Take a moment today to thank them, even those that were not able to physically make it here today. With that, I'd like to thank each and every one of you, faculty, staff, administration, and all the family members and friends here with us today supporting us along the way. Today, we acknowledge our accomplishments and prepare to take another step towards residency. I wish us all the very best. Please join me in congratulating the Dr. William M. Scholl College of Podiatric Medicine, Class of 2025. Thank you, Rambo. We appreciate your reflection and grateful for your leadership. Finally, I want you, the class of 2025, to know that the entire Rosslyn Franklin University community is here to support, sustain, and encourage you as you continue your studies and training at Shoal College. I speak for the entire faculty, staff, student, and alumni community of Shoal College in saying, it is you who make us who we are, and we continue to look forward to the fresh ideas, the energy that you bring to our campus. This concludes this, our ceremony this afternoon. We ask that all guests remain seated to allow the class of 2025 to process out to the auditorium for their official class portrait. We invite family and friends to congratulate the class and celebrate with them at a reception. Thank you all for being with us today. <laughs>